Hello, friends and fellow collectors. Thank you so much for joining me for another edition of Diecast Emporium. I am really excited to be able to show this model, and uh, I hope you guys will appreciate it. Many of us grew up with the show Emergency. Uh, I know when I was younger, it was already well into syndication, but it was on early in the morning before school. I always tried to catch it and thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, if you're not familiar, Emergency was a 1970 TV show, uh, basically where there was a paramedic unit and an engine company uh, from the L.A. County Fire Department. And the show is really credited uh, at that time with popularizing the paramedic part of the fire department and paramedic units. In fact, as a result of the show, many fire departments implemented a paramedic unit uh, in their real-life establishments, which I think is really cool, and you don't see that anymore. Also, back in the 1970s, you know, we talk about vintage TV shows being really cheesy. Emergency had a little bit of that, but honestly, it dared to show the ugly side of being a first responder. Um, and honestly... I don't think there's been a TV show featuring a police, a police department or fire department really since uh, with as much technical advising as Emergency had. Again, my personal opinion. So I think in that regard, it still holds up well. Anyway, I digress. This is a 150 scale model by a company called Iconic Replicas. Um, they make models of all different kinds of things, notably buses in 187 scale. They make some trucks in 143 scale. They do some cars and they also do some emergency vehicles. So let's take a look at the packaging now. As you can see at the top, we have 1973 Ward LaFrance Ambassador Fire Engine 150 scale. 50th anniversary of emergency. Again, you can see that on the front as well. 1972 to 2002. To bottom of the box says all your copyright and trademarking information. This is the item number for any of those that might be interested. The item number can also be found here. A lot of times that's easy to, the easiest way to look up uh, a product. Here we have the LA County Fire logo and the fire department. On the back, feel free to pause my video if you would be interested in reading about the real truck and the show Emergency. Uh, I kind of gave you my own synopsis, but again, feel free if you want to check that out. For the rest of us, let's get this thing unboxed because I can hardly wait any longer. And while I'm doing this, I'll tell you, I think it was a couple years or so ago, Iconic Replicas released Squad 51, which was the other um, unit assigned at the firehouse for the Emergency show. And I missed out on getting one of those, and I regret it to this day, because those are really hard to find. And if you do find one, they are, uh, they're quite expensive. So my point in bringing that up is, if you are even thinking about adding this engine company, Engine 51, I really would recommend you not hesitate and go ahead and pick it up. Because I certainly, with only 3,000 pieces made, I can certainly see this becoming just as hard to find as Squad 51. So we have it out of the box, and that allows us to take a very quick look at the acrylic case that's on top and the plastic base. On the base, written out, Ward LaFrance Ambassador, Engine 51, 50th Anniversary of Emergency. Let's lift the top off now. It is taped on one side, so we're just going to go ahead and cut that to save a little bit of time. And with the tape cut, we can lift off the acrylic case. So there's what it looks like on the base. And what we're going to do now is we're going to pause momentarily because the model is mounted to the bottom of the base by a couple screws. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo those screws and uh, we'll bring the spin table out. So don't go anywhere. All right, everyone. As you can see, we've got the truck now on the spin table. Um, the first thing I want to mention about it is that it's predominantly die cast. So there's some good weight to this model, which is really nice to see. The wheels, as I'll demonstrate very briefly, the wheels do roll, but there is no steering on the front axle, which is fine with me. It's meant to be a display piece. Uh, let's start by taking a look at a lot of the details that can be found on top of the truck, if you'll allow me to pick it up and remove it from the table that we just mentioned. So there's quite a bit. So here's your uh, beacon light, 51 for the engine company number. Main hose here. You have an extractor fan. Obviously, you'd put this in a fire to get rid of all the smoke inside the building. This piece uh, is called a, a monitor, which basically can be detached from the, the apparatus and set up at a large fire to constantly spray a stream of water. This is your hose bed, various different lengths of hose in the back. Moving along to the, the back of the truck now, you can see once again those different hoses that are all beautifully folded up here and connected to the back. Blue square at the bottom left is a vintage California license plate. And then you also have here these two red pieces. Those are your tow and strap 
uh, shackles if you need it for any reason. And obviously here are your flashing lights as well. Right side of the truck. This is a pumper or an engine, so there's no aerial ladder, but it does have a small ground ladder, uh, which is that wooden piece. It can't be detached from the truck, but that's okay. That's fine with me. Here you have your main intake line. Here is your uh, fire extinguisher. Back here where the crew would ride, actually in this type of a vintage fire engine, um, you'd have a couple of the guys riding backwards, basically, facing towards the rear of the truck. So that's this area here. Diamond-plated texturing can be seen, and it's really quite nice and very detailed. I'm pretty impressed with how Iconic Replicas was able to capture that. Decal work, also extremely top-notch. L.A. County, 51 Fire Department. Uh, the window, the clear insert window pieces are really nice because it allows you to see the interior of the truck. You have the seats here, steering wheel, uh, gear lever as well. On the front, you have the uh, the logo here, the American La France logo. Again, Company 51, headlights. And what I really like about these old Ambassador engines is the cab kind of angles out at the top. If you're looking at it head on, you can see kind of that, uh, that shape that kind of goes out and then comes back in. And they were able to capture that in the model uh, quite well. This side is a little bit different on the pump. Here you can see various other lines. Again, hoses that will connect to a hydrant and then hoses that would go out to um, spray water, things of that nature. Here's your different gauges, which actually, if I can zoom in on them, you can see the different gauges, water pressure, etc., etc. And then here are your suction lines. These are large hoses uh, on the back of the truck. So there you go. That is a pretty in-depth review of the Iconic Replica's LA County Engine 51. I got to say, guys, overall, I'm really, really impressed with this model. It's, uh, it retails for about $130, and again, only 3,000 of these have been made, so if you want one, I would not wait. Click on the link that I will have in the video's description. It'll be right down here. Uh, it'll take you to the awesome Diecast website where you can pick one of these up. Again, perfect complement to your Squad 51 if you're lucky enough to have one of those in your fire apparatus collection. But again, for value, detail, and what you get, I think this is a very reasonable model. At, uh, at a reasonable price as well, and I only think the collector value will increase. The display case that goes on top of it, the plastic base, I also think are very nice touches. Even the presentation style of the box with the information that you saw on the back, all the different logos and color photos, I just think they hit a home run with this model and absolutely would recommend it to any of my viewers. Huge thanks to Iconic Replicas for sending one of these over for review. I hope to do more of their products in the future. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. What would you like to see more of? Did you enjoy this model? Etc. Etc. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.